Friday, May 21st at like 11 at night. Dan, what are we doing, bud? We are scrubbing the lubricant off these plates. Nice. With alcohol. So we've jerry-rigged ourselves a nice little uh, setup here in front of the garage. Boxes of fractional plates, our table set up, our cleaner, Dan's going to town. And uh, got to get a bunch of these out in the morning, in the afternoon. So this is the life. Peace out. May 21st, 2015. Got a little assembly line set up here for the fractional plates. Dan the man is going to town over there. Killing it, as always. And uh, we're not done, but we're getting there. So it's about 1 a.m. <clears throat> uh, May 22nd. 2015. Um, I just recently, the most recent video was me and uh, my buddy Dan hammering out some fractional weight plates. I'm um, just driving back now from dropping him off. And I realize it's this weird entrepreneurial thing where I think so many of us, sorry, get some light on, um, have like this over commitment syndrome where, like, in some ways it's good because if a few little things fall through the cracks, if the stars align, etc., you're able to maximize your time. But reality is most times things don't fall through the cracks to like give you those extra few minutes throughout the day that accumulate and um, the stars don't align. And so, like for example, right? So it's fucking one in the morning. I have several packages to ship in the morning. That's why I was rushing to get these weight plates done. I still need to print them in the morning. Luckily they dry very fast and then uh, ship them out. So I got all that to do. So it's like my plate is already totally full um, like to just kind of get everything square and done and out in time for shipping, you know, deadline tomorrow. And yet, originally my plan, I should be in Boise right, right now. Um, I was going to be at a powerlifting meet setting up a booth there. But I, I did tell the event promoter, um, I did know there was a good chance that I may not make it. And I was letting him know all along. I said, hey man, you know, I don't know if these plates are going to be ready today. Exactly the situation right now. By the time I get them printed and shipped, whatever, like, I just don't know that I can make it. I told him, I said, dude, I'm a man of my word. Um, if I have to drive through the night to be there in the morning, I'll do that. But um, luckily, I don't want to say it was like informal, but I kind of, I'd, I'd already given them a heads up that I might not make it. And also, like, I was, I'm, I'm the only vendor there, and he wasn't planning on even having vendors until I inquired to ask if they were going to have vendors. So it's not the end of the world. But the point being, it's like, I mean, Dan and I worked on the shed tonight. We did those weight plates. Um, I wanted to train. I haven't trained in like three or four days now. Can you tell? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just don't. I don't have any choice, man. I fucking work nonstop. It's all I do, and I love it. I like kind of don't care, but it's also kind of maddening. And meanwhile, one thing I should mention. I mean, dude, people have it way worse than me. I would never sit here and try and complain and act like, oh, I got it so hard over, but. Through all of this stuff that I talk about, all this hectic chaos over, my hip's fucking killing me. I don't... <laughs> it's not even so much like... Oh, I should keep this on. Like, you'd like to be like, hey, you know, maybe it's because I'm so focused on all my work and all my shit right now. I'm not taking as good a care of my body, so therefore my hip's hurting or whatever. It's so hit or miss. I can't explain it. Just a couple days ago, I was talking to my... Uh, parents and grandparents on the phone, I was like, wow, my hip hasn't felt this good in like a month. And that was true. It really hadn't. And now it feels fucking terrible. As I'm sitting here talking to you, it's killing me. So it's like just this constant, like when I don't get workouts in, like normally I'd be so pissed off and feel so detached from the gym. And I am kind of somewhat, but there's this other part of me. It's like, dude, I'm just in pain all the time. My hip hates me. And like, I can't even lift that as hard as I want to anyway, so it almost seems like, fuck it, why even go? So, I don't know. But, so yeah, so I wanted to train tonight. Supposed to be in Idaho. Was potentially going to drive through the night. Um, still need it. Just, there's so much shit to do, and I just can't explain it. I don't, I, and I've had this problem. I'm aware of this problem. 
where like I'm like, oh yeah, I'd be available by such and such time. And it's like, dude, you're not going to be available for like three hours after that. You really think you're going to get all that done in that amount of time? But once in a while, like things do get done in that amount of time. So it's like you don't want to, I guess, squander or miss out on the opportunity that you might have the chance to get all that shit done. I don't know. I just... Like, there's so many times where I don't get things done or things drag on to the next day and I put it on myself, like, hey, like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You should have been able to get this done, whatever. And I come to realize, I'm like, no, dude, it's that you overcommit. You're, you're unrealistic. You don't actually allow the amount of time it takes to get things done. I mean, just classic example. I've had this problem most of my life. I don't know why I can't seem to remedy it, but like, you know, someone wants to do something at five and you're like, yeah, cool. I can do that. I'll be done at five. And then you like get there at like five ten because you're like just killing yourself to get whatever was done before, like just nick time and haul your ass down the road. Anyone that knows me, they're probably like, sounds like bossy, and just barely get there. And then you like, you're like, what the fuck? Like, how did this even happen? Like, if I rehearse all this back, like all I did was just work my ass off straight through. I didn't squander any time. I was super productive. I multitasked things that need to be multitasked. And somehow just still, I don't know, just maybe I think too highly of myself <laughs> in terms of how fast I can get stuff done. I don't know. But um, I'm just realizing that. And it's funny, staring down now in like June coming up, I travel on the 10th and I'm home for like one day between the 10th and like the 24th. And... Uh, I mean, we got the Lane Norton watches coming, got a new sewing machine coming in, got a shit ton of rollers I gotta do, gotta um, get that whole sewing machine up, a bunch of like roller stuff that's usually partially assembled that has to be totally done from scratch, these fractional plates. Um, all of that I'm doing right now is eventually gonna be laughable, like the quantities, like it's not even really that much, like things are just only going to get crazier. And I mean, it's all, it's all good problems to have, but at the same thing, it's not like I'm sitting here like, Hey man, I'm fucking rolling in dough and making all this money. And it's just stressful trying to grow my thing. It's like, no, I'm freaking struggling big time. And the cash flow issues of being able to keep this kind of operation going, um, in each new round and each new production run of this or that, or the other thing, um, fucking real. <laughs> fast as you make it you spend it and it's gone and then some but whatever and hey check this out it's raining again fucking a that shed roof gosh I, i'm gonna come back to this place in like 10 years when i'm living somewhere else and be like fuck there's my shed rotted away nah it'll be fine but unreal the amount of rain i mean I'm a very like positive person most of the time. It's funny, but yet all these videos I try to catch you the negative moments just because I want people to see all the bullshit that goes down. But um, <clears throat> I'm a pretty positive person and shit that I find irritates a lot of people and gets other people down. Like it really doesn't phase me such as rain all the time. It's like whatever, get over it. It happens. But for the first time, like I mean, fucking really wearing on me, man. I mean, literally swear like that someone's out to get me like that that it never stops raining like it has rained in substantial quantities like i don't even know i mean i don't even feel like i'm exaggerating 15 20 days now every freaking day all over my shed i mean the shed i was looking back at the dates i started this shed in late march so we're going on almost two months now of that shed getting fucking poured on and it's just a matter of trying to find time to work on it and then when I do have time, like I'd had a pretty good scent like last week with her. Rain, 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 rain. And now I'm trying to do the roof. Rain, 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 rain. So oh, I'm about to go inside. Sorry for the burp. And uh, landlord's probably sleeping. So sorry you can't see me when it's that dark. But going to end this one May 22nd, 2015. Peace out.